The first example of use is a cold storage monitoring. Uh, the temperature in the cold storage should be under 10 degrees and an automatic defrosting is performed periodically to prevent ice formation. When this occurs, uh, the temperature increases beyond 10 degrees, but uh, this condition shall not last longer than 45 minutes. So what we have to do is monitor the temperature and generate an alarm uh, if the temperature exceeds 10 degrees beyond the frosting period. Now let's see how we can configure this in the software. Okay, so let's clear the settings. Uh, what do we have to do beyond 10 degrees? We have to send the message that automatic defrosting is in progress. How do we do that? We select the sensor type event, uh, sensor over limit, select the given sensor and 10 degrees add what to do, send a push notification, automatic defrosting is in progress. Okay, this is ready. What do we also have to do uh, beyond 10 degrees? We have to start a countdown timer from 45 minutes. Uh, for this, we will use a register. Oh, sorry. Add new action. Sorry, I just can't see the what is below. Okay, start timer, let's say in register one, from 45 minutes, that is 2700 seconds. Okay, what do we do next? Uh, below 10 degrees, we need to send a message that normal cooling uh, is in progress. So sensor below limit, the same sensor below 10 degrees, send a push message, normal cooling. And also we need to stop the timer and reset the value back to 45 minutes. How do we do that? Timer stop in register one and set register value back to 45 minutes. Now, uh, if the register value reaches zero, it means that uh, the um, temperature is still above 10 degrees after 45 minutes. Now, in this case, we need to control the output. Let's say activate the local siren and send a push message that the temperature is beyond 10 degrees and the intervention, intervention is needed. Now, for this, we will use the register value equals uh, event. If it equals zero, then relay close. Let's say for three minutes. And at the same time, send a push notification. 
that intervention is needed. Okay, so that's all and we have configured everything we need for this task. Now, uh, in this table, you can see that there are red dots here and there. Uh, this uh, help you to have a clear overview on the settings. Uh, these dots means, mean that uh, there is a setting uh, for that event uh, in that place. For example, here we have a relay close setting and here we have push notification settings and here we have registered uh, operations. Of course, you can uh, open the given uh, event again and you can also edit the temperature, for example, if you want to change it, or you can remove any action or change the setting, settings of, of uh, any action you want. <clears throat> 